to a brand new episode of Coming Distractions brought to you by the Nerdpocalypse Podcast. I'm your host, Jay. Okay, so let's discuss the newly released film Mid-90s directed by Jonah Hill in his directorial debut. Um, on the surface, this is very much a 90s skater film, but it's a lot deeper than that, actually. So this is starring Sonny Suljic, um, who's accompanied by several actual uh, uh, pro skateboarders. Um who sort of make up this film that deals more with that moment in your life. Uh, The main character, Stevie, is 13. That moment in your life where you stop just defining your family as the people who you are related to, but also how you create your extended family with friends, right? So Stevie is this sort of wayward kind of kid who has a physically contentious relationship with his brother. Like they fight, physically fight all the time. I guess his brother is supposed to be maybe 16 or 17. Uh, so he feels really disconnected. He doesn't have, he doesn't have a brother that he can really count on or, or deal with at home. He's sort of disconnected from his mom who's always working. Um, and he eventually friends this group of guys, um, who end up really becoming his closest friends. Uh, that sort of extended group of friends or his family as, as they kind of coalesce uh, during the running of the film um, is led by this guy, Ray, uh, fuck shit, and um, uh, fourth grade, <laughs> which are hilarious names. And they all have their names for a reason. Um, so what's interesting about them is his family life is so is just such a mess. He ends up gravitating towards the, these like crazy skateboarders who are letting him go drink and, you know, smoke weed and like do pills and stuff like that. Keep in mind, he's 13 years old. Like he gets with a girl for the first time, all these sort of things all happen to him um, in this very young part of his life, which is interesting. Um, but I think it's probably a common occurrence for a lot of people. So that's why they can really relate to it. Um, what I found interesting is that here you have a guy or this kid who leaves this the, his normal family to be with these guys. And they have almost a standard family structure in a way where Ray and fuck shit are almost like the parents. And they're, they have their own contentions against each other as well as Ray is trying to make a real profession out of skateboarding. And fuck shit just wants to party and drink and do drugs and, you know, just do his own thing. Um, but they're best friends. And through them, they both affect Stevie in very different ways, much like two parents would, right? If there's one parent who's wild and irresponsible, the kid is going to pick up parts of of that parent from him, him or her. And then on the same side, if a parent is on the straight and narrow trying to, you know, really do well, the kid will pick up from them. So the, the movie at its core is really about family. Um, these kids... They do whatever they want when it comes to skateboarding and other things. And they start to learn some really hard lessons. Stevie is very much a character who the only thing he knows is sort of metaphorically and sometimes even physically just ramming himself into danger and into heartache and and physical hurt in order to kind of feel something. And that is that's sort of extrapolated out by him actually physically skating as well and not being very good and trying to keep up with these guys who could be professional skaters. And I mean, there's a couple of moments that are actually pretty funny in him trying to do that. And also uh, some moments that are pretty tragic. Um, honestly, for Jonah Hill's directorial debut, it's pretty goddamn impressive. Um, this is an A24 film. So for those who know, you know, film production uh, studios, you you kind of know what you're getting. You're getting a you're you're getting a drama that's that's really kind of digging at the the human condition, basically. Um, yeah, I really dug it. I thought it was great. I'd like to see more from Jonah Hill. I think his experience in doing a lot of coming of age comedies um, over time has allowed him to have a different eye and understand how to film that and how to show that. And it's it's very nostalgic for the 1990s and in a time that I think was just simpler, not just in the political world and everything else, but just the world seemed simpler back in the nineties. Right. I mean, um, and I'm sure there's also an age issue with that. Right. You know, this movie, I, t- I think it takes place probably like 
mid-90s, 94, 95. I mean, I was in early high school, so wasn't that much older than Stevie was. Like, the world was just simpler. Our perspectives were simpler. What our problems were and how to solve them were simpler, um, even if they seemed extreme to us. So the film deals a lot with that. Um, but it, it's damn good. It's, it's an impressive uh, venture for Jonah Hill, and I'd like to see him do more. So for me, if I have to give it a score, I'd say it's a four out of five. It's definitely a worth uh, worthwhile to see in the theaters. So check out mid nineties in theaters um, wherever you are. You're watching the Nerdpocalypse YouTube channel. Make sure you click that button to subscribe and check out our weekly podcast where we talk about movie, TV, news, tech, and weird stories from around the internet.